Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is another day at a time, a day beyond time, outside of time, linear time is ending. Many things coming through the field today, some intense energies, waves coming in from the solstice energies, many messages about rising up, the rising up of consciousness, the rising up of the light workers, love workers, the star seeds, lifting the spirit, rising from the ashes, the phoenix rising, this energy of the red phoenix, the red dragon, the red angel, the three Dantians rising up from the old false matrix. Many people are seeing glyphs in the sky and sylphs, which are the air spirits or the spirits of the air. Many cloaked ships being seen throughout the world. In the Yi Ching, there's a saying, the clouds follow dragon. So the dragon energies, the dragon lines are fully activated. We have reached critical mass in Magenta Pixie's latest video, the Grand Cosmic Merkaba. Merkaba confirms this critical mass being reached. And these Merkaba or Merkaba, ships have been coming to many people, or what people are calling Ezekiel's Wheel, like from Victoria Lillenquist, who's working with Ezekiel in the angelic realm. Today, there was a 7.3 earthquake in the Banda, or Banda Sea in Indonesia, and it was felt as far as Alaska, so there's the 73 synchronicity again, 7.3, Kingdom of Heaven on Earth, the internal manifesting into the external or the new earth energies from Elizabeth Peru today. This is a post from her over the past 12 hours. There have been some huge earthquakes occurring, the largest being 7.3 in Indonesia. Interestingly, earth's resonant heartbeat has yet to rise with this. The Schumann resonance is around 27 hertz as we speak. What I'm tuning into is a restless vibration. Are you feeling it too? Perhaps you're breaking loose from restriction. Perhaps you're feeling extra fired up and cheeky. Perhaps you're doing and saying what you normally uh, hold back on under our new 5D energy templates around Earth. All energy has risen markedly. So there's the rising energies, the lifting of the spirit. And with the sun, moon, and earth slowly moving into a straight line for next week's solar eclipse, the shaking loose will continue. So the breaking loose, the breaking free. Also another synchronicity with what I've been calling Operation Breakthrough. Breaking through to the other side, breaking through the veil, breaking through the chrysalis, being released from the cocoon of the false 3D matrix. So let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing today through these massive waves and portal openings also today from divine sister tony taylor on her page through the fifth world the message the crystalline dna process begins for the masses tell them so this is going to be part of the blueprint that i'll be releasing soon for all star seeds and love workers to send out into the field through all medium and through the technologies that we're using to communicate and connect with all star seeds around the planet and that's what many people are feeling these what some people are calling the ascension symptoms the crystalline dna is being activated collectively now we've all gone through our individual purges and transformations now we are purging for the collective, releasing for the collective, so that now the collective consciousness can go through this crystalline DNA upgrades. And we have, we're reaching, we're at critical mass. We have reached critical mass of enough star seeds and light love workers to wake up from this matrix, from the false illusion of the projection, of the manifestation, of the dark polarity. We are transforming that to the light, transforming the lower frequencies to the higher vibrations, the higher light. It was a very hot and muggy day today, and right before starting this video, or this auto-recording, 
This cool breeze blew through the window right as I looked at the time at 11.11 p.m. So the 11.11 portals are opening fully. Many synchronicities coming into the collective field, the collective consciousness. So today's transmission is going to be an update about the plan for planetary liberation by Ukeron, that's U-K-E-R-O-N, from the PFC leadership from the Galactic Federation of Light. The recent mass meditation that happened during the solstice of June 21st, 2019, was part of the plan for planetary liberation. Different and independent channels helped to spread the information about this critical mass meditation that allowed the light forces to make important movements in order to ensure that the goddess ley line is being cleared and now controlled by the light forces. It doesn't matter so much if you participate in the mass meditation following a specific guideline from a particular source. The nuances in each guideline were intentionally designed in order to connect with as many people and starseeds as possible. The collective consciousness expressed and manifested by everyone who was connected during the time of mass meditation was the important factor in this battle for the control of the goddess ley line. The general guidelines of the plan for planetary liberation were given by the resistance movement through COBRA Portal 2012. To get a better understanding of this plan, we would like you to pay special attention to the following. Clearing of the Chimera group continues as well as clearing of the plasma toplet bombs. Clearing of the toplet bombs is approaching the stage where certain unprecedented action of the light forces may be possible in the not too distant future. The only comment permitted here is that the plan for planetary liberation is deeply classified since January 27, 2018 and no intel about it is coming out except for a brief leak about spy satellites in August 2019. The plan will not be popularized on the internet. Everyone will be taken by surprise. One of the crucial situations that are ongoing is the battle for the energy of the grid around the planet. Between Surfacom and the Black Nobility families, especially the battle for the Goddess Ley Line, which holds the master key for control over the planet. The Surfacom, which is Surface Command, was presented to the general population through the same website as can be seen in this query to filter articles by Surfacon keyword. And this was on Saturday, February 16, 2019. Root EXE isolated. Surfacom modulation in progress to RRR10, Tuesday, February 19, 2019. Our solar system is now full of beings from the cosmic central race, and they are cooperating with the light forces from the Jupiter Command, Ashtar Command, Atlantis Command, Pleiadian, Sarian, and Andromedan Fleet, Resistance Movement, Positive Agartha Factions, and certain special forces called Surfacom. Thursday, February 21, 2019, RRR10, Surfacom Sequence in Progress, APR.exe clearance approved, and then Thursday, April 4th, 2019. One of the crucial situations that is ongoing is the battle for the energy grid around the planet between Surfacom and Black Nobility families, especially battle for the Goddess Ley Line, which holds the master key for control over the planet. The Surfacom was called by the light forces in order to make the necessary physical movements inside the matrix in order to fulfill the plan for planetary liberation. Ukeron, which is spelled U-K-E-R-O-N, U-K-E-R-O-N, is only one of the aspects of everyone involved in this plan. Perhaps the situation is not yet clearly understood. The light forces guided Ukeron to present himself in order to offer a glimpse of the battle that is being fought in the surface of our beloved planet Earth. Eucharon is aware that the light forces activated a myriad of souls around planet Earth, souls that were incarnated on this planet but that could be activated only in this particular point in our linear time. As already described by FM144 blog, the Surfacom Surface Command is also referred to as Silver Command. The light forces on the other hand have assembled an elite force of the best people from the different planets which was created specifically for the purpose to liberate the ground crew. 
It can be seen as a kind of silver command. Eucharon was instructed by the life forces through inner guidance to release his own Cosmobiography on May 27, 2019. His biography is only one. There are hundreds or even thousands of incarnated souls who are receiving information about who they are and why they are here on this planet Earth, particularly at this point in time. Everyone that is awakening to their own soul purpose is collectively joining forces with Surfacom or the Silver Command. There is no structure of control in the Ashtar Command since everyone is a commander of his own two wolves within. The Surfacom is really advanced since no one is following orders from a top-down hierarchy. The plan for liberation of planet Earth is being revealed like breadcrumbs for everyone. People are receiving inner guidance and performing their own activities. The nature of the majority of such activities can't be reported at this point in time. And the Dark Ones can't simply stop such operations just because there is no structure of control. Every single soul is already deeply connected with their own higher self, is receiving guidance from their spiritual guides through thought forms or through telepathy. Below in the link that I will post in the description will be an article about Surficom. And in this report, it is not accurate nor precise since Surficom is still dealing with critical missions that are aiming for the final liberation of planet Earth. There is a real war happening in our solar system, but the wannabe or the TPW, the power that was, or what I say, never were, are not releasing this information just because they are scared and they know their own defeat is a matter of time. There will be links to other articles which is mentioning the battle that was going on. The Galactic Federation of Light already instructed Ukron to create a Facebook page, and that will be also in the article in the link below. Stay tuned since we expect to have more people from Surficom Silver Command connected. The Light Forces would like to let clear that the guidelines shared in a Be a Sovereign Being and Act Accordingly article are the real deal. In a universe where the free will of all souls must be respected, each one is being invited to join forces and manifest your own intentions and desires for the Golden Age. That is just around the corner. The Guardians of the Galactic Codex are already incarnated on planet Earth. You have an unprecedented opportunity in your current reality. You are having all the necessary and possible means to manifest your own free will without being forcibly put in a state of control. What are you waiting for? And as Gaia Porto already stated in the update from June 17, 2019, Howitzers of light come to the fore. Premonitions fulfilled. The light has won. Markers are in place for future generations of energy workers. Articles of the galaxy are written. The number of appearances of the spaceships that belongs to all forces of the Ashtar Command is reaching an unprecedented amount of reports that the controllers are being simply unable to block or suppress this information anymore. People are spreading around the internet hundreds of similar images shared by Rhea, Aurora, Athena, Ash. As a final note, the Light Forces will like to politely advise that the Dark Ones who are trying to attack the representatives of the Ashtar Command and this physicality would have to face divine justice according to the already published decree of sovereignty of mankind. The Ashtar Command is offering all possible means of restructuring and reconciliation. They are compassionate forces and they do not want to suppress anyone. But on the other hand, the Ashtar Command is here to implement the express desire of the primary source and will take all necessary te steps to ensure that the divine plan is being implemented in our solar system and beyond. Our beloved planet Earth is being liberated from the remaining darkness, victory of the light. Now we say that the light is victorious, the light always wins, love always wins, love has won, but the dark are not giving up so easily, giving up their control mechanisms and their systems, their systems that are falling apart. They're holding on for dear life, even though we have won the battle. They're still what we could call sore losers. You can think of it as, say, like a, a game. This is a big game, and say, such as a game in, say, sports, like a soccer game. There's two, two teams battling it out. 
you know, you might have the red shirts and the blue shirts and say the the light is the blue shirts and the dark is the red shirts. And say the red shirts lose and as they're leaving the field, instead of shaking hands and being, instead of the losers being honorable or humble, instead they try to spit in the face of the winners or smack the hand of the, those that won the battle, the game, trying to cause the last bit of suffering or the last bit of duality. They are what we call sore losers. And that's okay because we are honorable servants of the divine light. We do not judge. We do not criticize. We're just holding the light. We're holding the love for all of humanity as we go through this massive ascension process. What I now call the galactic ascension event, which we are in the process now. So my guides also confirmed that the crystalline DNA process has begun for the masses. And this was going to manifest in many, many ways. So as way shores, we are here to help guide those that are unaware of what is going on through this massive DNA upgrade, through this quantum leap of consciousness, this quantum leap in the physical mutation or evolution, whatever we can call this to, we can call it a revolution from Homo sapien to Homo luminous, which is the light body. That is why we are called light workers, because we are at work in the process of transforming physical matter, which is symbolized in alchemy as lead, into gold. That alchemical process of transmuting lead to gold or transforming lead to gold, which is symbolic of transforming physical matter back to light, the original light, the original source. The original frequency, which is our highest self, which is one with the great mystery, the great spirit of all things, prime creator, prime source, whatever name you give to that unknowable great mystery of all that is, which is the pure awareness of all life, all light, all love. So thank you all for joining me here today. Also, I have one last update, just another heads up about the event in Sedona, Arizona, July 5th, 6th, and 7th, the 7th SEAL Summit, which you can find on primedisclosure.com. At the top of the page, you can click 7th SEAL Summit. It will be a gathering of lightworkers from around the world. There will be many lightworker speakers and teachers there. Also, I'd like to thank everyone that is participating in raising funds for the Ecuador Healing Retreat Center. Many synchronicities coming through with these tachyon chambers. Uh, there is a interview on Sheldon Nidal's site with one of the creators of these chambers. It was, his name is Joseph McNamara, and he's using, working with the tachyon chambers, that's Pleiadian technology, working with tachyon energy, so many synchronicities around that. You can download the webinar they had, on uh, June 23rd, let's see the website, it is paoweb.com, paoweb.com, there's a lot of information on that page, and you can go to PAO Webinar Archives, there's a link on there, it's the Galactic Activation Webinar 16, Joseph McNamara with the Pleiadian Tachyon Energy Technologies. So if you'd like to join us on this mission for the Ecuador Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community, we're using a platform, a business opportunity for this uh, with CBD oil, CBD healing oils. You can join us on CBDPeaceOil.com. I'll put that link in the description below. So once again, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for shining your light brightly into the night. Beloved divine beings of pure light, pure life, pure love, pure truth, and pure awareness. Stay in the heart center and keep walking your path with heart. I love you all. Namaste.